Hey Internet, quick rundown on how not to be a jackass with a gun. I come across stories every now and again and I just have to shake my head because some simple things, some simple rules to follow will keep you from being that guy or girl who hurts not only someone else, themselves, but also the Second Amendment as a whole. First and foremost, safety. If someone ever hands you a gun, assume that it's loaded. It is always loaded. If you pick up a gun that you put away, consider it loaded. Because maybe you forgot that you, you had a round in the chamber. If you assume it's loaded, it's a good start. If someone removes a magazine and hands it to you, assume that it's loaded. Until someone hands you a weapon, like this, you go ahead and you assume it's loaded. Why? Because if you do that, you will never be the guy who has to explain why he shot his buddy by saying, Oh, but I didn't know it was loaded! That's not an excuse. That's just ignorance. Secondly, where to keep your finger when the gun is out of the holster and before you're ready to fire. Very simple. Keep it outside the trigger guard. Why? Because you cannot be jostled if you're, and shoot your weapon if your finger is not on the trigger. That's what the trigger guard is there for. Keep it here until you're ready to fire. And finally, you should never point your gun at anybody except the person you're ready to destroy. Your family, your friends, innocent bystanders do not deserve to see this view. This should be reserved only for the person meaning to do you harm and who's about to be snuffed out of existence. Why? Because pointing your weapon at somebody is halfway to destroying them. And your loved ones don't deserve that. Now, talking about people who are belligerent with firearms has less to do with safety and more to do with just social awareness. First and foremost, I'm an open carrier. I walk around with my uh, weapon on my hip unconcealed just because I don't feel the need to wear heavy coats when it's warm outside. But occasionally I'll have someone come up to me, some anti-gunner, some gun control fanatic who wants to start yelling about Sandy Hook and Aurora and Virginia Tech and all these you know, blatant examples of how gun control and gun-free gun zones have failed completely and have led to deaths of numerous people. But they want to say it's our fault as gun owners. What do I do? I just walk away. Why? Because engaging these people will serve no purpose whatsoever. You're not going to change their mind and their vitriol that they spit at you might make you go down to their level and return in kind. And what does that do to everyone around you? That shows you and them as two jackasses yelling in the street. But what they'll remember is that one of those jackasses had a gun. It's pointless. You don't need, you don't need to engage these people because all it will do is hurt you and the Second Amendment in the eyes of people who are watching. Now, that's not to say if someone comes up to you and asks you an honest question about, you know, what, you know why do you carry a gun? Or is that legal? Or is that a real gun? These could be just simple questions by people who are gun ignorant, if you will, who aren't familiar with the gun culture, and who might actually be open to some reasonable dialogue and learning about the firearms and the Second Amendment in general. Feel free to talk to these people. Don't be that guy who's like, oh, my rights, my rights, my rights, and just repeat it uh, ad nauseum and then turn them off to the Second Amendment. So, in summation, be safe, don't be belligerent, and be open to answering people's questions who are really curious about the Second Amendment. And you'll do more for the Second Amendment by not being a jackass. If you like today's video, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Twitter and Facebook, and check out my site at bulletsfirst.net. We'll see you next time.